Hi friends, welcome to HTL Lectures. My name is Hadil. Today I'm going to give you my fifth lecture on CMA Economics Foundation. Today my topic is the deductive and inductive method. What is this deductive and inductive method? Let us go through it. In economic laws, you know that there are many different laws and principles in economics. These economic principles are dealt in two methods. These two methods are discussed as deductive method and inductive method. So what is meant by deductive method? Deductive method is a method of applying your laws and theories in economics based on fundamental assumptions. These uh, economic laws and theories in deductive method, you are considering some assumptions, your ideas. It cannot be a fact, it may not be the reality, but you are applying your ideas or your assumptions to these methods. In the inductive method, the same way we are applying our laws or theories based on the facts collected, based on the facts or the statistical data you have obtained. On based on these facts or statistical data, you develop your laws or theories. In that case, you can say that it's an inductive method. And in deductive method, we move from general to particular. General to particular means the logic in deductive method means when you are developing a method in economics or laws or theories in economics and that law is a general law, then economist says that this general law can be applied to a particular single sim situations also. That means when you develop a general law, you can apply this into individual situations also. That is what the deductive method implies. Such as law of diminishing marginal utility. It's a collective law. You can apply this to any particular situation as well as on an overall general concept. Same way law of EQ marginal utility, law of consumer surplus, all these are developed based on deductive method. This was a classical method and classical economists, they say that deductive method or they apply deductive method for developing their economical laws or theories. This law is also known as prior method, abstract method, analytical method. In the same way, what is inductive method means I have already said that we have prepared the laws or theories based on facts or statistical data. And the logic in this inductive method is that we move from particular to general. Here we are not taking the general concept but we are analyzing a particular situation and we develop a fact or we develop a scenario and we say that this particular situation can be applied to all the population that means you check you take a sample and you apply your logic into that sample and you say that this sample result of this sample can be used to the general or overall concepts in the economy like law of variable proportion law of variable proportion was developed after considering some of the companies some of the production units activities how their production areas moved how the proportion moved in that way one or two production departments were analyzed and we say that this scenario will be common to all the situations so we use a particular to general logic in the inductive method same way law of return to scale and population theories all these are used by applying inductive method this was also known as historical method or statistical method this was used by modern economists. They say that uh, they develop their laws based on this inductive method. This is all what we have to study in inductive and deductive method. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have understood what I meant by inductive and deductive method. Please subscribe my channel and thank you. Thanks for watching.